Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to teach yourself Webflow in less than a month. Let's jump right in. Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you probably have just discovered Webflow or you're really just starting off and you wanna start doing maybe freelance work and making some extra cash on the side or maybe even start your own agency and start building websites for clients and charging the big bucks, whatever the case may be. Today, I'm gonna to show you the four week plan that I used a couple years ago to teach myself Webflow for the first time without ever having designed a website before in my life. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into the first step. All right, so the first step you need to take when you're teaching yourself Webflow for the first time is you need to go to the Webflow 101 Crash Course. The link for this will be in the description below, so don't worry about going on Google and finding it, it'll be linked below. But essentially, this is just a beautiful little course, a little university that Webflow has set up for us of completely free material, completely free lessons, and it just takes us through the basics of everything Webflow. So my recommendation is maybe you pick one of these sections every day and you just sit back and you watch. Just enjoy the clips. The, these, these lessons are really, really awesome. They're super short, they're super digestible, and they're actually very entertaining. The guy on here is a total clown. He makes it super fun and funny. So they're super easy to watch. Don't take any notes, sit back, and just get an overall feel for what Webflow offers you. That's step one. Okay, so the second step you need to take when teaching yourself Webflow is you need to go play the Webflow Flexbox game. I will have this linked in the description below, so you don't have to go searching for it. It'll be right down there. But basically, Flexbox is a way that you can position elements on your page inside of other elements. So like, for example, I could like move this circle to the right in one click by using Flexbox. In my opinion, and from my personal experience, this is the most important and the most foundational concept to grasp when you're first learning Webflow. I'll be completely honest with you, the learning curve here is a little steep, but this game right here, there's about 27, 28 levels, is designed to help you get over that learning curve. And once you are able to grasp this concept, once you're able to move elements around the page as you need, the rest of Webflow is relatively simple. But you need to learn this concept, it's very crucial, it's very important. Now, I made a video a couple weeks ago, I'll have linked up here, that basically walks you through the solutions to this Webflow Flexbox game. So as you're going through it in your first week of teaching yourself Webflow, if you get stuck, just go up there, click the link, watch the video, and I'll show you how to beat every level. But again, it's very crucial to learn this and to learn it well, because once you do this, the rest of Webflow is pretty easy. All right, so let's move on to step three now of teaching yourself Webflow in under a month. Let's keep going. So the third step that I used back in my day, and I found this step very, very helpful, is to go into the Webflow Showcase, webflow.com, and then go up to Showcase and find a site that you can clone. Webflow has a bunch of different templates, a bunch of different websites that people have basically shared with us that we can clone and use for our own projects. So I found it very helpful to filter for clones. And then let's just take this one for example. We'll hit view project. And then we'll come down here and we'll just open in Webflow. And we can actually clone this for ourselves. So if I hit clone here and I rename it, and I hit clone project, all of a sudden I have editing rights inside of this project. Now, what I want you to do when you clone these projects is I want you to just, just explore. Now that you have a foundational knowledge from the 101 crash course, now that you know how Flexbox works, now you can kind of come in here and see how like everything is, is kind of layered. So like for example, I can come in here in this image and kind of see like how he has this structured inside of his page. So I can see his sections, his containers, his paragraphs, his links. I can see kind of all of this and start to get a real feel for how Webflow websites are structured. Now the goal here is just familiarize yourself with the actual UI of Webflow and then maybe deconstruct a couple elements and maybe try to start building and tinkering inside of it. This is just gonna give you nice contextual awareness for step four. Okay, so step four is going to be the longest step for you. Maybe you wanna take a week, maybe even two weeks of your month and dedicate to step four. Step four is go find a website that you like. Go find a website that you respect and that maybe you want to build for yourself or your own project or whatever you wanna do. And rebuild it, rebuild it. Now that you kind of have taken the Webflow course, you know how to use Flexbox and you've spent a couple days deconstructing cloned websites and tinkering and putting things together and taking them apart, you now have enough at least foundational knowledge to get into Webflow and start building yourself. 
this is exactly what I did a couple years ago. I found a site that I liked in a completely different industry. I just thought it was clean looking. I liked the way it, it looked. And I started building it myself. I, I took their elements, I took their assets. Um, I copied their style, I copied their font, I copied their color scheme, everything. And I built the website. And it's through this process that you really are gonna start to learn Webflow and realize how easy it is to use. You just need to build your first site and I think the easiest way to do that is to copy a site that you think looks nice. Okay, so now that we've spent a good chunk of time copying a website and rebuilding a website that we like and that looks aesthetically pleasing to us, we have a couple days left in our month. So let's finish up with a little more conceptual work that I have found very helpful in my time. So the fifth step, the final step that you need to take in your first month of learning Webflow is go back to that site that you really enjoyed. Go back to the site that you copied and you want to inspect the element. So in Safari, if you just right click and hit inspect element, it brings up basically the structure of the website. You can do this in Chrome as well. I think it's, I think you go to inspect source or page source, just right click on the page and this you'll, you'll have this pop up. And the goal here is to start going through kind of the structure, the skeleton of this website and seeing how it's all laid out. So you can see that basically everything here is just divs containers and divs inside of each other and they're all styled and given classes but you can see that it's just it's just legos it's just building blocks and what i want you to do in this step take a couple days and just really go through this structure because for me the final step the eureka moment i had after about a month of playing in webflow was oh my gosh i know nothing about html i know nothing about css i've never done any of it and all of a sudden, because I had spent a week or two building out a site and dropping in divs and structuring things like I learned in the Webflow 101 crash course, all of a sudden I was seeing the code of a website visually. And for me, that was a big breakthrough moment because once you kind of understand how websites are laid out and built and styled, then you can go back into Webflow and when you build your second project, you just kind of, it just kind of clicks. You just kind of have this aha moment. And for me, that was the final breakthrough I needed. That was breaking through that last ceiling I needed. So yeah, I, I really think the easiest way to start to see the code visually and have that aha moment is to inspect your page source on the site you copied or even the site you have just built and go through and see how the divs are just kind of layered inside of each other. Just see how they're used as Lego blocks, how classes are assigned to each div. And when you do this, you'll have that breakthrough moment. And at that point, you're off to the races. You can open up your agency, start your freelance work, and start making some real cash. So that's it, guys. That's the one month plan to teaching yourself Webflow. If you like this video, please go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. I also appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments for me, go down that comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. All of this will be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate you being here. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.